Hello and welcome to my first video on getting started with AutoCAD. My name is Chris and on this video I'll be walking you through AutoCAD's interface. Please note that I am using AutoCAD 2015, just came out, and as such there may be visual differences on what is on my screen and compared to what's on your screen, given that you're not using the same version of AutoCAD. One of the many important skills that you will need as an AutoCAD user is the ability to navigate the software. AutoCAD is vast and the learning curve can be steep. To help combat this as you go through tutorials, future tutorials, mine or others, and work on your drawings, a firm grasp of where things are for when you need them is essential. Let's start from the top. At the top here of AutoCAD, we've got the ribbon. And the ribbon is a feature of AutoCAD that, uh, that came out probably six or seven years ago. It's a fairly recent thing, and it's something that is fairly standard across all Windows software. The tabs up to the top uh, divide the ribbon into multiple different sections, as you can see. If you've used any tab software before, you'll get this pretty quickly. Inside of each section, there are uh, subsections, and each side of each subsection, there are individual tools or functions that the software can use. Additionally, but a lot of functions will have um, alternative methods of execution for them. So just be aware of that. The next thing I want to show you here is the ability to make tabs and have um, toggle between the tabs that have your drawings in them. So this is something that's Again, it's probably familiar to you if you've used um, other software that uses tabs to toggle between different documents. But it's something to keep in mind as you go along. And this big black space that I've been moving my mouse across here is called model space. Model space is where you're going to be doing the bulk of your drawing. Model space is empty virtual space that you can fill with whatever you have in your head. Up at the top here of model space, we have uh, what's called the view cube. The view cube allows you to pick predetermined views and snap to them really, really quickly. Um, this is useful for our application as a troubleshooting method. A lot of times when I move between different pieces of software, for example, in this case, uh, SketchUp and AutoCAD, I mix up my keyboard shortcuts or I mix up the way that the mouse is handled. SketchUp is kind of notorious for this for me. Um, in SketchUp, the way that the mouse controls are the exact opposite as they are in AutoCAD. So clicking and dragging with the middle, uh, with the middle mouse button or the mouse wheel um, in SketchUp will uh, pivot you around your model, whereas in AutoCAD it pans. And holding down the shift button and uh, and middle clicking and, and dragging in SketchUp will pan, but in AutoCAD it will pivot and rotate. And so if you were jumping between software and you accidentally do something like that, um, you know, you can you can try and eyeball it back in and you can get pretty darn close, but the point of AutoCAD is accuracy. So if you want absolute accuracy, just go ahead and click on the top button and it'll send you right back. Now in the event that something like this happens, when you click the top button and you're off, the things are rotated, you can always click the little left rotate button right here and it'll rotate you back to your origin and where Y is pointing up and X is pointing over. The next thing I wanted to show you here is second only in importance to model space and that is the command prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger here so you can see it. The command prompt is your eyes and ears on the software and this is where you um, get the option to do multiple things with different commands. For example, let's say you want to draw a circle, you'll see here it gives us options for a three point, two point, tangent, tangent radius circle, all sorts of different stuff. And again, this is true of pretty much every command. You're going to see all sorts of different options in here. So knowing that the command line is there and understanding that it is going to be the major way in which you interface with commands once you started running them is crucial. So keep that one tucked away. We're going to come back to that as we do later tutorials. Down here at the bottom, we have the ability to switch between model space. And if you click this little drop down here, um, again, because I'm filming for YouTube, my screen is a little smaller. Um, but there's a drop down here. This lets you toggle between model space and what's called paper space. So we'll say layout one or layout two or whatever you decided to name your layouts and however many of them you decided to make.
We're going to get back to model space and paper space in future videos, but I just want you to be aware that there's an option down here to be able to toggle between them. The next thing I wanted to show you here, the last thing I wanted to show you here is the, uh, the set of buttons down at the bottom. They're just toggles for different settings in the software. And again, we're going to get back to that in future videos. So that about wraps it up for our first video on how to get around AutoCAD. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comments below and feel absolutely free to like and subscribe. And that's about it. See you next time.